Hey everyone, my name is Iman and welcome to a series of videos where we will be implementing linear regression from scratch. We will look at the mathematical intuition behind this algorithm and also try and implement this in Python. This is the first video of a series of videos on linear regression from scratch. Let's dive right into it. Let's get started. What is linear regression? This question can be answered in many different ways. I have a simple way here that may help you visualize linear regression. What is linear regression? If you look at the GIF here, you will see that there are observations scattered around the XY plane, and then there is a line called the regression line that passes through the observations, and this line is the estimated best fit line that fits the current given data. What we're going to do in this video is we are going to have a mathematical look at how we can solve the linear equation problem and how can we estimate the line, the regression line, given the data set. So let's get started with the mathematical introduction. We'll start off with looking at the most important formulae that we will be going through in this video. The first formula or the first equation is the representation equation which is given by y is equal to x transpose times theta plus some error term or y is equal to x0 times theta0 plus x1 times theta1 plus x2 times theta2 plus so on up to xn times theta n. Here y is the independent variable that we were looking at earlier. y is an independent variable. x transpose is x uh, let me, before I go to the transpose, if you look at x, x are, is a dependent variable. We write x transpose when we are trying to take a product of a row vector with the parameters theta. Right? So to represent the product in linear algebra, we would use transpose. So x transpose times theta. And if you open up that x transpose times theta is what you would see on the right right so this equation will allow us to represent the algorithm that models the independent variable y as a function of dependent variables x maximum likelihood equation is given by theta is equal to argument of norm of y minus x theta the whole square this equation represents the maximum likelihood estimate theta for a given data set x comma y. As we will go and see further, one of the fundamental problems for us is to estimate theta, which is the parameters of the first equation. And this equation will give us the maximum likelihood estimate theta for a given data set x comma y. Cost or loss function equation, j of theta is equal to norm of y minus x theta the whole square. This equation will help us find the parameters or coefficients by minimizing j with respect to theta. Mathematical intuition, we will first look at the representation equation. Let's say that x is a random vector of length m. Think of a list of random numbers and y is a scalar random variable. Think of a random number. I want you to visualize a list of random numbers and put on the left hand side of your head and this list is essentially one row of multiple random numbers. And now I want you to also visualize a single number but put it on the right hand side of your head wherever you're thinking and call that y. And this is what I mean when I say x is a random vector of length m and y is a scalar random variable. Now remember that x and y, as we discussed earlier, are not independent, but have a joint probability distribution f, where f is x comma y given theta comma sigma. So f of x comma y given theta comma sigma, where theta and sigma are the parameters. Now, to visualize joint probability distribution and to get a better intuitive understanding of what it is, you could think of it as two probability distributions because f 
is a function of x comma y. So if you see, there are two axes with a normal distribution in each. So as x is varying normally and y is varying normally, you see both of the distributions having a joint probability distribution in the center of the diagonal. And this is given by theta and sigma. So this model, where x and y are in, not independent but have a relationship, can be represented as y is equal to x transpose times theta. x transpose is essentially telling that we are taking a product here plus some error term or y is equal to x naught theta naught plus x1 theta 1 plus x2 theta 2 plus so on. As you will discover, our entire journey is to help find theta because we have in our data set the values of x and y. So let's move on and start sampling from the probability distribution f. Remember we described f earlier in the previous slide. So now let's say we sample n independent observations from the probability distribution f which is a function of x comma y given theta comma sigma as the parameters. To understand this, think there is a probability distribution somewhere with a range of values for x and y and we sample n observations from the distribution. So we saw the diagram earlier where there was a distribution for x and distributions for y. Now what I want you to think that from these distributions what we are doing is taking a sample. When I say sample I mean some random values. Okay, so uh, if, you, if you're thinking of a normal distribution which is like shaped like a mountain, if I could say that, um, what we're doing here is basically pulling out some samples, pulling out some values. And that is what we're saying, that we are going to sample n independent observations. You can see that here, right? When I say we're sampling some random values, so if you see on the left-hand side matrix is your x values. This is a matrix, uh, a 4 by 4 matrix. Uh, you have four different rows and four different columns, and your y is essentially 4 by 1 uh, with four rows and one column. So this is how I want you to think the data would look. Okay? So we place these samples into an n cross m matrix x and a vector y. And to be absolutely clear, x and y are not random variables. And they are the given data used to fit the model. So this, this is not entirely random, right? So when I say we are sampling, uh, what I mean is this is the data that we have collected, the x and the y. This is the data set that you get when you're trying to do a linear regression modeling problem. Okay? Yeah, so, and where is this data coming from? This data is essentially part of a larger function, larger probability distribution function. And from that, we are picking values of x and y. And we are using this to estimate theta. And that is what we are going to keep doing throughout this video, right? We have this x, we have this y, but we don't have theta. And theta is what we want to find. And now, since I said we want to find theta, we can now ask what is the likelihood of obtaining data x comma y given a parameter vector theta? So you've been given a parameter ve vector theta. Now, this is essentially reversing the problem, right? If you think about it, I'm telling you, you have theta with you. So what will this theta, what values of x and y will this theta give me? So if you think of it that way, this is what we are trying to frame at. So what is, what values of theta, so in other words, what values of theta are likely to give us these combinations of x comma y? We are trying to frame the problem this way so that we can find theta. Okay, so we are saying what is the likelihood of obtaining data x comma y given a parameter vector theta?